utilize our zoning ordinances to improve the lives of people in the city of Charleston um, and make adequate changes that really address inclusionary zoning and really um, look at how we make uh, the city a much more affordable city to live in and reduce some of the sprawl and reduce some of the areas that are, are prone to flooding so that we can we can look at how that can occur. How do you define the ability to not feel you are in survival mode? And I think that is fundamentally what quality of life is. There is a moment where you can feel secure in your home. You can feel secure about the food that's on your table. You can feel secure about being able to get to and from work. Um, you can feel secure about the education that your children can receive. It depends on who is, in, who is in the survey. So if you were in, for instance, food and beverage, uh, your security is probably a different level of security. Um, if you were in the hospitality industry and you were working in hotels um, and servicing you know, guests, your quality of life may be different. Um, if you are, were a frontline worker, your quality of life is different because it's more stressful, you know. So I think the answer, depending on what you were doing prior to COVID, may have changed. I would say that is an accurate reflection because you can't argue with the fact that you're a number one tourist destination, quality of life must be great. You, um, um, you have communities that are being developed uh, and you have, the, you have areas that are being developed where people can be first-time homeowners, um, people can you know, walk to um, areas of their city and never really have to leave to fundamentally get to, you know, from point A to point B. Now, if you look at some areas, you've got the food desert still. Um, you have you, you have those you have areas that still require access as accessibility. But overall, I think that was probably it, I think it would be a correct question or a correct answer. Mm -hmm.